You can update records, send Slack messages, even sync with your Google or Outlook calendar, all within Airtable's native automation. But the second that you want to leave that Airtable bubble, that's where things get tricky, unless you use webhooks. Webhooks are your shortcut to triggering just about anything, from sending data to other apps, to kicking off custom workflows in Airtable, you're no longer stuck with what just Airtable can do on its own. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies get set up and automated using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through three practical ways that you can use webhooks to automate your workflows and get more done with Airtable. We know Airtable automations work. You pick a trigger, you choose an action, maybe update a record, send a Slack message, or connect with one of the built-in apps. It's simple, it's handy, but what if you want to go further? What if you need to trigger something outside of Airtable's limited list we see here, or maybe something complex and unique to your business? Well, that's where webhooks come in. Now, the simplest way for us to send a webhook via Airtable is through a button. You'll create a button field in your base, and when someone clicks it, it opens a URL. That URL, though, that is a webhook endpoint, and the endpoint is where your data will be captured. Now, most commonly, that place is an automation tool like Zapier, Make, Pipe Dream, or it could be an app or your own built backend. It sounds intimidating, but it's surprisingly basic. So let's say, for instance, you're a service provider. You're tracking new clients in Airtable, and once a contract is signed and completed, you want to send them a welcome email with a PDF guide, some project info, and next steps, but you also want this to be personalized to them. Now, while we can set up an automation similar in Airtable, we can do so much more with an automation tool. Now, go ahead and add a button field to your Airtable. You'll set the button to open a URL. You'll paste in your webhook URL, like something that you've got from Zapier, Make, or your own endpoint. If I jump over to Zapier, which I'm just using for this example, we can see we've got the webhook URL there. It's created that for us. So once that URL is accessed, that data is shared. Now back in the Airtable field setup, we're going to use that webhook URL here. And we're also using field variables. We're passing the data from the record that initiates this. We click a button. There's a button for that record. It initiates the webhook. We're passing the data of that record. So it's going to be dynamic. Things like the email, the name, the personal details of that lead or that new client, sorry. Now, from here, it's a simple trick, but it can do a lot. So we save that. And then let's say, for instance, the contract has been signed. We click that button. That shoots off. And if we jump into Zapier, we can see here that it has collected that data. And from there, we're able to use that data in an automated workflow. And we're given more power than what we have available in Airtable automations. Now, you can take that much further connecting to a number of tools. Zapier, Make, N8N, Relay.app, Pipedream as well as your own apps and your own backends. So that was the simplest way that we can use webhooks in Airtable through buttons. Now let's take a look at a flexible method. But first, if you do want to learn more and dive deeper into using buttons and webhooks, check out this video above. Now the most flexible method is using the run script action in our Airtable automations. You might feel intimidated, but don't be again. If you're okay with writing a few lines of JavaScript, great. But if you're not, then we can lean on AI, ChatGPT, Claude, in order to help us out. I'll also link to our website where I've created some videos on specific scripts you can use. You can copy them, take them, and jump straight into Airtable with them. So check that out. Now, let's say you're running a service business and tracking leads in Airtable. You've got a status field, which has the status of new, in progress, and one with some others. And when a lead is marked as one, you want to add their details to a Google sheet used by your finance team or send it to a CRM where your sales team then manages them. You want to create a new customer or client or even trigger a contract to be generated on your behalf. Now, this is something Airtable can't do directly unless the tool has a native integration like Zero. So with a webhook, we can make it happen. And that's the workaround. Plus, you also have to consider the run limits that you have on your Airtable account. Now, if you are using a platform like Pipedream or NAN, you can get a lot more done for a smaller cost as opposed to using Airtable or even Zapier or Make. Okay, so I went ahead and I formatted our standard URL into a script. Now, what we've got here is the URL 
and we've included variable placeholders. Here we can see name, email, phone, and all we are doing here is mapping those values from our Airtable over to this webhook URL. So here we can see we have email and the input variable for email. Well, that of course is going to be the email property or field from our Airtable base. So you'll want to set this up so you're including all data that you want to share through your webhook. For instance, we want to share the website as well. So I'm going to select this add icon, search for that field and add it there. Then once you're ready to test your script, you'll use this test option over here to run a test. And then you'll select a particular record to test the data with, allow it to run, jump over to the automation tool or the back end where you are collecting or capturing that data. We select event. Here we can see we've just pulled through the new event. Then from there, we're able to bring in our other apps and set up our automated workflow. This is similar to setting up an Airtable webhook button, but it gives you more power in what actually triggers the automated workflow. Finally, the last way that we're going to look at how we can use webhooks with Airtable is a way that is incredibly underused. And honestly, it's one of the more powerful ways to connect Airtable to your other tools. Now, instead of sending a webhook off from our automations or a button, this time we're flipping the switch. We're letting Airtable receive data, receive a webhook from somewhere else and use that trigger in an automation or an automated workflow. So you'll find this trigger listed as when webhook received inside your Airtable automations. And when it runs, Airtable gives you a custom webhook URL like we saw with our automation tools, Zapier and Pipedream and others. And any external service that can send a post request can trigger this. Now, let's say you want to automatically start a client onboarding flow within your Airtable base. Whenever someone completes your registration form or your client lead form or an invoice is paid, you notify your team, you assign tasks, and you create those tasks automatically. Now, while Airtable does offer forms that we could use this for, you can do so much more with a dedicated form builder like Fillout. When the form is submitted, the webhook is sent, and Airtable receives the submission data. Unlike with Airtable, where we actually had to set those variables, Fillout will send the entirety of the data directly to Airtable, which we can then use. And to set that up is so easy. Now, while Airtable does offer those built-in forms, you can get so much more done with fill-out, calculations, logic, lead scoring, and scheduling. So if you do want to check out fill-out, make sure to check out the description in the video because I've left a link there. And beyond that, I'm excited to see how you'll begin using webhooks in your workflows. If you're excited to automate a certain business process, let me know in the comments below what that is. And if you need help setting up these automations, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where a team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation. So book yours today.